are some practical tips for using online discussion boards or forums to support and facilitate constructive, contextual, collaborative and self-directed learning. Giving a tutorial through video conferencing can be more tiring than a face-to-face -face tutorial. Rather than doing a two-hour video conference, you could extend your tutorial sessions with asynchronous discussions. This can help to give students more time for critical thinking, reflection and formulation of their contributions. In Elium, Blackboard and Canvas, this can be done using discussion boards or discussions. In these discussion environments, it's possible to set up threaded discussions. A threaded online discussion could replace a pre- or post-discussion, or even replace a tutorial session entirely. If you want to try this, make sure students are aware of the aim of the discussion board. Are you stimulating a debate or a brainstorm? How do the discussions help them to achieve their intended learning outcomes and exactly what will be assessed? Be clear about when the discussions will start and end and what you expect from the students in terms of their contributions. Each week you could create a few different discussion topics or themes that relate to your assignments, readings or tasks and then ask students to respond to them. You could ask students to post at least one original contribution per theme and get them to respond to a certain number of their peers or their comments. Set rules for the expected interaction and provide advice on online etiquette. Be aware that students sometimes feel reluctant to be the first to start posting on a discussion board, so it's good if you can get the process kick-started by asking specific questions to get it all going. You may also want to set specific tasks or assignments to the group or even to subgroups as a shared goal will stimulate better discussion and help the discussions to be more constructive and contextual. Assigning different roles to the students can also stimulate discussion. Ask specific students to play the role of the starter, the questioner, the summariser or the devil's advocate for example. This can add a fun dimension to the discussion and get the students to look at the content from a different perspective and learn to collaborate in different ways. For a successful online discussion, it's important that you as the tutor are visible and accessible, as well as providing regular feedback. A visible and engaged tutor will enhance student engagement and help them to feel less isolated. This doesn't mean that you have to spend hours online, for instance, you could spend 15 minutes a day monitoring and elaborating the discussion instead of responding to individual posts. Make sure you manage expectations on how often you'll log in to react to discussions, questions and comments. And as in an offline PBL tutorial, beware of providing all of the answers. Instead, ask open questions, prompt students to elaborate on their comments or explain their perspectives to others or guide them towards reflection or correcting misconceptions. This is a much more self-directed approach to learning.